Hello and welcome to Nostalgia Vibe. Today we will look back at the 1998 American television show Two Guys, A Girl and a Pizza Place. We will revisit the cast of the series and see how they changed over the years. I will also tell you some interesting or funny trivial facts you probably did not know. So let's not waste any time and jump right into it. In Boston, to promote Party National Lampoon's Van Wilder, Ryan Reynolds tried to find Beacon Street Pizza, unaware that it was a fictional place. During his time at Tufts University, the creator of the show worked at a pizza place. It is still operating in Somerville's Teal Square, called Broadway Eatery. Pete calls Berg, inmate 002-4601 at the end of the episode where Pete and Berg try to get tickets for the luxury box at the football game. From Victor Hugo's novel Les Miserables, Jean Valjean's prisoner number is 24601. Nathan Fillion and Ryan Reynolds both played the comic book hero Green Lantern in 2011, with Reynolds starring in the live-action Green Lantern and Fillion starring in the animated Green Lantern Emerald Knights. Season 1's theme song is an instrumental version of Blistered in the Sun. Some of the secondary characters introduced in Season 1 have disappeared by Season 2, including Melissa, Pete's girlfriend, Bill, the owner of Beacon Street Pizza, and Mr. Bauer, the eccentric regular at the pizza place. By Season 3, the premise of the pizza place was completely abandoned, and the show became two guys and a girl. The series was unsuccessfully proposed to Fox before being acquired by ABC.
The role of Berg was auditioned by Mark Paul Gosselin. The final episode of the 2000-2001 season featured four different endings for viewers to vote and decide which of the central female characters, Sharon, Ashley, or Irene, should become pregnant, while a fourth possible ending featured no pregnancies at all. It was planned that the pregnant one would give birth at the end of the fifth season, which ended up being Ashley. Sadly, there was never a fifth season for the show, by May of 2001, when it aired its finale, the show was cancelled due to low ratings.